In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way um, with a rather magical formula, in my opinion, that you can find duplicate data. Now, this comes in really handy, really no matter what size list you have in Excel that you're looking to find your duplicates, but comes in especially handy if you have hundreds or thousands of rows worth of data. Now, there certainly are a number of ways in which you can go about finding duplicates. And the reason I like the formula I'm going to show you is because your data um, doesn't need to be sorted in any particular manner. As you can tell in my list here, um, I have things kind of all over the place. Um, and you can see, well, for example, here we have Sarah Bareilles on line 10, and we also have her again on line 15. So this particular function, as I mentioned, your list here doesn't need to be sorted in any particular manner. And some of the other options available for finding duplicates actually require you to have um, your list sorted. So this particular formula just saves you basically an extra step. So I have my list here. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab the formula. You can see it right here. And what this is is an if max function, and it's also counting. So what it's going to do is um, basically what it's telling you is if um, the maximum count is over 1, enter in the word duplicate. If the, the result does not have more than one, enter in no duplicate. Now one thing, one word of advice, um, in this particular case you can see the range defined is A1 through A11. I actually have 20 rows here as you can see, so I need to change this before I copy it down to make sure I have the proper range defined. So I'm going to quickly change the 11 here to 20. You can see the blue highlight here um, along the side. That just is a visual indication to you of what range you've just defined in the toolbar above. I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter. So now I have that in. I'm going to Control C, Shift, page down. Whoa, page up. That went really far. Shift, just arrow. Um, there we go. So now we can see um, visually duplicate versus no duplicate. Now here's the fun time-saving part. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to filter this data. And anytime you use a filter, you want to insert a row and you want to make sure that you have headers. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to um, highlight this just because I like to highlight things, my header rows. Um, in Excel 2007, you're going to click over to Data and you're going to click Filter. Now you'll see that little drop down boxes have appeared on both columns A and columns B. I want to sort based on the word duplicate, so I'm going to come over here to column B, grab the down arrow, by clicking select all that's actually going to unselect everything, so you can see it's, everything's unselected. Now I want to select only duplicate, go ahead and hit OK, and as you can see it's quickly um, returned to me just the fields which have duplicate data. So it's certainly a lot easier than sorting the list manually. And um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that entire range and I'm going to delete everything. All my duplicates have been deleted. I'm going to come back to my filter, go ahead and tell it select. And the only thing now that is left on my list are names where there's absolutely no other duplicates in the sheet. Um, so that's how easy it is um, using this particular formula. Um, let you look at it again. Um, it will also be listed in my blog post. Um, if you're not following me on Twitter, I tweet daily Excel tips. My name on Twitter is at M-M-A-N-G-E-N, -E or you can visit my website at thevirtualassst.com. Have a great day.